All right, so today we're working on a Line 6 that got bashed in. So there's a USB port here. This USB port got bashed into a chip, and then the chip fell out, and now we're in, we're in dire straits. So let's see if the camera will zoom in on this properly. So might as well turn off the face focus here. Auto focus on the face. Go away. And we'll put the camera in auto since I just changed the this so it doesn't screw up everything now let's see how this zoom lens works oh that is a sexy zoom lens that is a sexy sexy zoom lens right there sony nex ea50 stock lens all right yeah let's move in up here yep keep in mind i'm not no digital zoom right here no digital zoom this is just <laughs> So, what we have to do is put this back on, and this is probably the only job I'm going to do today. It doesn't require a microscope. So, there's a couple of issues here. The first is that there's a capacitor that looks like it was completely destroyed off, which I'm going to hope is not for anything important, because I'm, do I'm not going to replace it since this is charity. Um, so, let's so, I got the chip over here. So the first thing I'm going to do, I don't need a microscope for this. This is actually big enough for me to see with my eyeballs. I know, almost nothing that I do is big enough for me to see with my eyeballs. And the USB port is really fucked, so it's kind of keeping me from seeing what I'm doing. Now there's a nice little hole over here. There's this on the corner, which is going to tell me which way this thing goes. So I have an I, the IC. This is the original one. Hopefully it still fucking works. We got this. And this is going to go like this. This is its orientation. Balls to using hot air, because this is a very tiny area. Man, I really can't see the other side of this for shit. This USB port is killing me. This USB port is really killing me. But again, for charity, I can't... I'm not taking this, this shit apart to get to the USB. Alright, so... Ah, uh, you can't see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm pushing this down against the board. And I'm just making sure that the solder is going on each leg. I'm going to have to use a little bit of hot air here because that's just... I need to flow this into place. I'm not going to put the air really high. This is also a single-layer PC board, probably a single or a double. I mean, look, look at the processors on this thing. Look at this. This looks like it's from 1982. So I shouldn't have to worry too much. Whoa. Okay. See, it heats up very quickly compared to anything made by Apple. Yeah, see, I'm not used to this. The board, it actually stays warm. Because the board is not heat sinking and dissipating the heat in constantly in real time. So I gotta lower my temperature. Way lower than what I'm used to. This is really difficult to do because this USB port is killing me. Fuck, I feel stupid. Alright. This USB port is killing me. You're in the way, motherfucker. This guy just asked politely if I can reattach this thing, so... This is not something I usually do. Please, for the love of God, don't walk in the store asking. I just... I felt like being nice today. Ew. Ew. That is blow saliva on that? 
Oh, gross. Let's see if the microscope can even see anything. Yeah, this is definitely not a good, good angle to be soldering at, but what are you going to do? Deal with what you have. So... Now, can I turn this thing around so I can see the other side with the microscope, or is that not happening? Okay, so I can see enough. The thing is, you can't see it with the camera. Actually, here, I can tilt it. Okay, I'm going to put my remote for my HDMI controller to pop this up. That's fucking great. My remote to the... Rest in peace remote to the HDMI controller. And this capacitor I'm going to remove because I just have a feeling that it's not going to be doing me any good. Uh, sitting there broken and exploded. I don't have that capacitor. I don't know its value. So that thing should go. I might as well push this to the board, but I'm also going to lower my temperature. I'm lowering it to 335. This is a temperature where I literally, I would expect nothing to come off the board with any Apple product, but you'll see that it's going to melt this IC almost instantly into place. And again, I'm hoping that this IC is not itself damaged. Okay, you get the fuck. Yeah, you you go away. All right. Yeah, I know. Get a new IC. Where? What what donor board am I gonna pull U6 off of? The legs on this IC look like shit. They're not even at all. Okay, now we just make sure that it's actually soldered to the board, which means poking each one a little bit. Yeah, that, that, that's clearly soldered. The legs on this side are messed up, but it's soldered. Okay, so we have booting. It says set lists. So this is progress. Now, all right, now we see if USB works or if the USB blows up my computer. So we just moved some of the pins around so that they wouldn't be touching one another. Because the pins were touching one another. This does not feel like the nicest port. Let's see what we get. Do you think I attach something? I do the same thing when my stuff breaks. Yeah, that port is screwed. So you need that port, and I don't, I don't know if that capacitor is in line or out of line. The one that's, do you see where, the, where it says C5 and that's expl it's missing? I could show you on here. C5. Da, 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 da. That's so. Oh. C5, and there's supposed to be a capacitor there, but it's. I have no idea what that's for. I told him if he finds a proper USB port, that I'll put the USB port in for him, and I'll try to find a cap that <laughs> makes sense for whatever line that thing's on. But yeah, obviously, no USB. I got it so the pins weren't touching, and the pins are making contact, and the pins are not touching one another, but. No, that, that, he also said he kind of jiggled it around a little bit before. I definitely had to move it around a little to get that IC in. But there you go. That is a Line 6 half repair, and don't ever send me one of those because 99% of the time, I will tell you 325 to fix your $250 thing because that's hey, it's business.